Welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. In today's WooCommerce lesson, I will show you how to set up PayPal payment gateway with WooCommerce. Inside of your WP admin, head over to plugins and add new. And you may actually already have the PayPal WooCommerce plugin installed already when you first set up WooCommerce through the setup wizard. But for those that don't have it installed, search for WooCommerce PayPal. Just like this, and the WooCommerce PayPal checkout payment gateway is right here. Go ahead and install it, and then activate it. And once it's activated, head over to the settings for the PayPal checkout gateway right as seen right here. And it's already pre-filled with these default settings. It's already enabled. The title is PayPal. So this is what the customer sees when they're checking out. And also this right here, the description, pay via PayPal. And they can pay with credit card if they don't have a PayPal account. And the environment, so you can set it to live to accept, uh, start accepting payments from your customer or sandbox if you want to test out your payments with PayPal. So that's up to you. Okay, now for the API credentials, you can either set up or link to your existing PayPal account once you click on this button, or you can manually enter in your API username, password, signature. So to avoid that, click on this, this button right here, set up or link to your existing PayPal account. And here, let's enter in our PayPal email address. And then once you enter it in, click next. And you will need to log into your PayPal account. And it will say WooCommerce is requesting authorization to connect with your PayPal. So go ahead and authorize it. And it's successfully authorized and connect it. Let's go back to the WooCommerce developers. And you should see this, uh, you just authenticated PayPal. Now let's go back to uh, the, my site. And once you're back at your WP admin dashboard, uh, these field will already be filled out for you once you're connected successfully and authorized. And in the next section below, we can enter in a brand name, a logo image that will show up upon checking out with PayPal. And you can also upload a header image if you want. And a page style is optional if you have something set up already in your PayPal page style. And the landing page, just leave it as default so that customers will have to log in when purchasing. So these are advanced settings. If you require things like a different uh, invoice prefix, if you have multiple stores, you may want to name this uh, one for each store. Uh, billing address, if you require the billing address to be added back to your WooCommerce customer information. And if you want to require a phone number, and the payment action, whether you want to set it as sell or authorize. And I do recommend having the instant payments checked because this means that the customer have to fund the purchases with an instant payment, like a credit card. They can't use an e-check where it can take weeks to clear. So requiring instant payment is pretty useful. And for subtotal mismatch behavior, I will leave it on as default, add another line item. Okay, now button settings. You can customize the buttons. So you can mess around with the button colors and things like that here. Check here to enable PayPal checkout on the cart page. And the mini cart button settings. This is uh, the mini cart displayed as a widget on the upper right hand side. Let me show you that right here. So this is the mini card right here and you can see it has the PayPal checkouts 
uh, buttons right here and if you want to configure different settings for the or mini cart you can do so with or this you only want box. to have the add to Otherwise, cart button but not uh, the leave it unchecked out as default so that they cannot check out directly and check out on a single product, this product mean that but they have to add to cart do you first. want to show the paypal buttons on each individual product so that's what it means so if i uncheck it that will remove these paypal buttons on the product pages and then enable paypal mark i'll leave that as default and here if you want to configure specific settings to the regular checkout you can do so here so i won't be messing around with that so let's save changes and now the setting has been saved let's refresh this page and as you can see my paypal buttons are gone just like i want it and let's add to cart and this minion toy has been added to cart and i can check out by clicking on the paypal button or i can view the carts and uh, apply coupons update cart and down here see my cart totals and proceed to checkout or the customer can pay with paypal or paypal credit okay so that's how you set up the paypal payment checkout gateway with woocommerce i hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment below this video and be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more woocommerce tips and tricks and tutorials thanks so much and happy selling